All right, take number 483. All right, nice little project for today. Got Gramps' golf cart here. These deep cycle batteries are shot. They normally make it about three years around here. We could probably get it a bit longer if we were more adamant about checking the water, but it is what it is. So we got a lithium ion replacement. We're going in with, we bought the whole kit, the whole shebang to make this as easy as possible. Uh, you get a lot of benefits from the lithium ion batteries. So you get a longer, much longer longevity, zero maintenance, more power, and the last longer on charge. So uh, this has a 10 year warranty. So price point wise, it's a probably about four or $500 more than if you bought the batteries just to replace these. But with 10 years, that's gonna make up for it in one changeover. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this pallet up. It, they did, I ordered it from bigbattery.com. They sell a nice little kit. They're the ones who offer the 10 year warranty. I laugh because it has this inspect product before accepting from carrier, but it's like, look how wrapped up this pallet is. Who's gonna open this pallet to check everything? So hopefully nothing's busted in here, but we'll check. Um, getting ready to open it up now and then we'll get to work here. Also, I had an idea of recovering these seeds for Gramps, but this guy doesn't want to do it. So we'll put that off for another day. All right, well, there's way lesser things than I expected on here. I very much like the packaging of this way up. No, I'm not holding this camera upside down. Uh, looks like the battery pack has wheels. I don't. Maybe you're supposed to roll on the ground behind it like a trailer. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna get this picked up, flipped over. We'll open up this box and see what all kinds of goods we got. So let's see what we got in our box of goodies here. We got our little cable pack, another little jumper wire. Do do do. Let's see what's in here. Battery capacity meter. Sick, dude. Let's see what's in this box. Look, there's our little bus bars for wiring everything up. I'm gonna guess this is our charger. Well, that one needs a razor blade. So this is indeed the charger, which is a power supply. So as I started going through the set, we got the battery all laid up here and went through everything. We noticed that oh, Will 106 here did a terrible job. Uh, he forgot one of the cables. So we're not gonna be able to hook the charger up today. We're gonna have to like unplug the battery physically and plug in the inverter. But I will say big battery was cool enough that they uh, didn't even hesitate. They have another one on the way. So I just called them, told them that they forgot it. And then, uh, yeah, they sent, they got one sent away right away today. All right, inventory's complete and voila, like magic, we're set up. Now, so we had some technical difficulties. We're gonna pull the seat. We had some technical difficulties with our cameras while we were recording this. And I missed a whole bunch of stuff that I don't have on video right now. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show the final product. We're gonna talk through how we came about it. I'll piece in the stuff that I do have kind of here and there to hopefully it will make a comprehensive coherent video but uh oh no it's pretty straightforward and simple so i think we can just talk this out so we left off with the inventory so we had our battery we were missing a cable and we had everything else so we decided to go ahead and do the full install minus the cable that we needed and then while we waited on shipment if we needed to charge the battery we could plug the inverter directly in to the power where the motor plugs into to charge it and just unplug the entire motor from the cart and then flop it back whenever it was charged. Um, so what we decided and realized was the wheels work as a spacer over here to get it up over the edge. And the backside without wheels fits on the actual battery tray lip perfectly. So we used the original tie downs and made hold down brackets for the battery and we're able to just plop it right in here. So the next big issue of discussion was with the charger system. So, originally, if you look over here, we got the inverter for charging the cart. Oops, I'm dangling cables everywhere. We were gonna mount this on board on the cart, and then I learned that the inverter is not rated to be on board, so it won't handle vibrations or water at all. They do not offer one for the 36 volt system, but they offer for 48 and 72. So we had to go back to the drawing board there. Um, that's when we came up with our plan of running an outboard charging port with the wire that was missing 
and building a tray back there to mount all of the rest of the components. Um, so with the tray, we had to sand down the brackets there. This dude cut out the uh, sheet metal. Uh, this is the hard part. Check out this nifty little tool. The old nibbler. Welded it in, we painted it, and then we were able to bolt down the bus bars and <laughs> what? <laughs> the old ring terminal I cut off. Oh jeez, it's still laying there. We were able to bolt the bus bars down to the plate and this inverter that I ordered. So this battery we learned also along the way does not have a 12 uh, a 12 volt output for like headlights or horns or radios or any of that. So you have to order your own inverter, which is what that little silver box over there is. The wiring is all hooked up. It's pretty simple. Power from the battery goes to the main bus. Ground from the battery goes to the negative bus. The negative side jumps through the little gauge thing if you have it. Then the ground to the controller and motor comes off of that along with any other current that you're drawing just to maintain your gauge. All right, so this little wire here used to be hooked to this voltmeter that didn't work, but it was very important. And that was the power wire to the controller, I think. Because now we got reverse, I'm pretty sure it's going to drive, so. So for the meter post, you see this wire here plugged in. This runs along the bottom side of the cart. We drilled out and mounted it up here next to the key. It took a little wallowing underneath, which I do a clean video of. And then you can just pop that gauge right up there. So, had to get the waller out. And we walled that whole bit right there, but they give you plenty of slack. That I just followed the... Uh, Take a look here. Oop. Well, they give you plenty of slack that so you can follow the routing to the ignition switch. As you see here, and then I just ran all the way up underneath there with the ignition switch out to the the battery box back there. Okay. So that's the gauge showing your voltage, so that way obviously you can monitor it. Um, the inverter, you just run off of the power over here. It's a 36 volt inverter. Then run 12 volts over to your outputs. We, uh, yeah, other than that, oh, so then the other thing that became an issue, right, is charging wise. So the original cart had a charger that was over there in that corner behind the battery. There was talks about whether or not old guy wanted to splice in the old charger to a wall plug, try and make all this nonsense work, but Realized we couldn't, we needed one of those. So what we ended up doing, or what I ended up doing, is I 3D printed this vent because the whole backside of the charger, even if you left it in there as a fake, was gonna hit the battery. So I just literally put this vent in, 3D printed it, painted it, pop riveted it on there to cover the hole. Then on this side, with the spare charger cable, I 3D printed this bracket that's made to hold this plug type and the plug bolts down through it here. So that gives you a charge output on the outside of it. And then that's obviously just connecting to your powers and your grounds there. Um, and voila. That do way you, you don't have to open the yeah, seat that way the seat, batteries or anything. None of that has to come off. You just literally put your inverter on here, plug it in the front. You're good to go. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much the whole install right there. Uh, not that complicated. And the greatest thing is while we waited three weeks for yeah. the plug the charging plug dad never plugged it in he drove it for three weeks on the very first i think it was charge. longer i think it was a month i think it was, it was a long possibly time. more than a month but of course he learned about yeah. lithium ion at that point when it was dead it's dead yeah he ran it to 36.1 volts that was the cutoff point and zoop shut up on him at the end of the road he was pretty confused he's 80 something he doesn't really understand what lithium ion is i don't think but uh yeah the battery is freaking bad to the bone um, it's got a 10 year warranty on it, which we went over earlier. There are cheaper versions. I'll put links to the cheaper ones from Amazon in the description, along with links to my STL files for my 3D prints, if anybody wants those. Um, also, obviously, to Big Battery, because that's where we got ours. They have the 10 year warranty. They're 
pretty awesome. Uh, unless you get Will's, your inspector guy, he sends batteries upside down to Mrs. Cables. <laughs> Shout out to you, Will. Um, but yeah, the headlights turned out freaking awesome. I got that clean on video. But uh, yeah, we put some LED pod lights on there for him as well. Just so that way he's got that going too. But uh, yeah, that's that. If you have any questions, uh, throw them in the comments if you're trying to do this thing and I didn't explain something well. Uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more weird and custom builds. Really leaning towards eventually ordering the setup for our electric truck and getting that thing back on the road because yeah, it would be yeah. sweet. See if, they, see if they want to see the, uh, the electric truck brought back. To yeah, if anybody wants to see our lifted electric truck that's pink uh, get revived, say Don't something in the Shane comments. Don't let Shane mix paint. Yeah. Don't let Shane mix paint. Or do because it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, say something in the comments, man. We'll, we'll order a kit for that too. But there you go.